Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix, fix Farming Simulator 25 is having an issue with crashing. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, laggy, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work now. So the first one is all about, we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over in the start icon. Now from here, go to the power icon, do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the key and we have to check. This is what we have to do as the first step. Which one is all about? We need to try launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now, when you try to launch the game, it will be launching from the Steam. So you have to make sure where the game is installed first. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties go to the installer file and just make sure where is the game is installed. Right now, it is quite visible that the game is installed on E, which is around 35.88 GB. So now just close everything over here and we have to go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk E, go to Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, navigate to farming simulator 25. Now from here, we have to go over here into the data. I'll do one thing, just go over here in the farming simulator to the game, right click on the game, go to the properties, install that file and just click on the mirrors. That is, we have to go over here, farming simulator. And now, okay, just close everything over here once again. Go to the file explorer over here, go back. And now it is visible, this is the .exe. So we have to launch the game from here. So instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching the game from the installation folder that will be working in most cases if not we have to run the game as an administrative and also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here right click show more options go to the properties go for compatibility now from here click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and also we have to right click go to show more options and go to the properties Compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. Once everything is being done, just close everything and we have to go back to the Steam and try launch the key. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to the documents. Now from here, go to my games and over here, you can see that it's a folder for farming simulator. 2025 so just right click over here go to delete now once it is deleted you have to keep in mind one thing that you will be losing all the progressions of the game but you have to start from the scratch and you have to try launch the game that will be working once next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security so just go over here search for the control panel we have to click on this one now from here we have to go to system and security windows defender firewall Go for allow Napport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to Farming Simulator 2025. So keep scrolling down and over here, you can see the Farming Simulator 25 is already added. And you have to put a check on both the boxes that is private and public. That you have to put a check on both the boxes. And right now, as you can see, it is checked. So if the game is here, you have to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes. If the game is not there, we have to add the game. Next one is all about after trying with the farming simulator adding to the control panel. The next one, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if you are connected with any external devices, for example, joystick is connected. For example, if any other thing is connected, any fader fiddle is connected, just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we have to try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is after trying with this, if you are still having the trouble, we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here. Search for the system configuration. We have to click on this one. And from here, we have to go over here into services. Go for disable all. Go to hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check with the game. And still, if there is an issue, we need to move to the next step. After trying with this still, if there is an issue with all these things, what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to allow the game. After trying with this still, if there is an issue, what we need to do is we just need to make sure one thing that is all about. We need to disable the Steam overlay and we have to give the commands of the launch option. 
So to disable the Steam Overlay just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. And over here, as you can see, enable the Steam Overlay while in game. It's actually turn it on. If you have to turn this off, try launching the game. Next one, we have to give the commands to the launch option. So the first one is DX11. We have to start with DX11. If DX11 is not working, we have to start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, we have to start with D3, D2. And once D3, D2 is done, DX11 is done, DX12 is done, you try it with each of these very commands in the launch option and try every single time when you give a command, try to launch the game and we have to check. Still, if that is an issue, we have to move this, close everything and we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over to the game, right click, go to the task manager and right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the back now. So these things are actually causing the issue and why we are end up in having the question issue. So just go over here. So if you find anything, for example, Discord, RevaTuner, MSA Afterburner, etc. Just remove all the unwanted things from here. Because when, when we launch the game like Farming Simulator or any, any very high end games, when many things are running in the background, you'll be having the question issue. So just remove everything. And once everything is removed, you can try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to add the game or run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings and we have to pick on this one. And now from here, we have to go over here into the game and we need to add the game. So just go over to the desktop app. Now from here, we have to navigate the installation folder, go to Oculus B, Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. And you have to select farming simulator. Sorry, it is on E, I think. Go to Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Scroll down and navigate to Farming Simulated. Now we have to select the app and we have to add it. So once it is added, just go over here and this is the Farming Simulator. So just go over here and expand this and we have to let Windows decide to change this to high performance. And once it is changed it into high performance, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about what we need to do is we just need to try with increasing the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced, go for the settings, advanced once again, go for the change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk. So right now the game is installed on E, so I have to select E and go to the custom size and set the value for initial size, which is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, we have to search for the calculator, click on this one. Now we need to type the RAM. So 16 GB is the RAM, so we have to multiply 16 GB with 1024, that is 1638, and we have to multiply it with 1.5, that is 24516, copy, and we have to paste it. Make sure we have to go to the maximum size, that is 16 GB, multiplied with 1024, and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 14 and 152, and copy this, and we have to paste it. Once every value is being set, we just need to close this and we have to try launch the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure one thing update the windows. So windows should be up to date. And also we need to update the graphics card. So just go over here into the installation folder. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia and to the AMD. So the Nvidia users just go over here and find everything. Like if you're on the GeoForce, you have to select GeoForce. If you're on the GeoFo 16 series, you have to select 16 series. So based on your configuration, give all the commands over here and go for find. Now from here, once you are done with this one, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to go over here and you have to download these versions. You have to download this one. If the system is based on this particular version, you have to, you can try download this one and install it. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Make sure you have to go over here in the AMD. So just go over here into the graphics. Now from here, we have to go over here 5000 series and go over here into 5000 and submit. Now from here, if the system is based on Windows 11, download this one. And if the system is based on Windows 10, you have to download this one and you have to try install and that's what you have to do. And move to the Microsoft Visual C++, this even worked for many users. So you have to go over here and if the system is based on this one, you have to download this one. So if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, try downloading this one. And also you can try installing the graphics uh, after trying with these. If the issue is still there, you can try these steps. That's all about. What we need to do is just go over here 
Only have to go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And we have to reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You have to try either a new local disk, which is D or C in this case. Last and the least step, we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties, install and file, and just click on the verify game file, which is going to cross check every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So you need to wait for this to reach 100 percentage and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So very one successfully filed sell validated. And just close this and try and launch the game. That's what you have to do. And I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon. Next video. Bye.